This is our fresh water tank underneath our trailer. We have a 2017 Rockwood Mini Light 2504S and uh, several Rockwood Mini Lights. The tank here isn't supported very well. They installed an angle iron here, but they put some holes in it, which weakened it and made it drop. When it was loaded with water, if you hauled water, it would drop down a couple inches and completely bend that piece of angle iron. So what I've done is I, I've doubled up this angle iron here to strengthen it. I, I jacked up the one that was bent, doubled it up and bolted it back to back. From the factory, they come with the support here and here. And so we, we've hauled some water from campground from a campground to another campground that didn't have water and we saw significant bowing in this area here and here and over here so I've added these extra three supports and they 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 seem to be in there pretty good I, I bolted them in place everything is put together with bolts and I didn't need to use a welder at all for this so anybody could do it it's possible that other trailers besides Rockwoods are having a problem uh, with tanks sagging. So you might want to take a look underneath yours and see if uh, you need additional supports. So I'm going to get in closer here to show you what I've done and we'll take a look. So let's start with the uh, front brace that I did that goes from uh, side to side. Right here, it is an eighth inch by inch and a half angle iron. This is the existing factory one that came with it. It came, it is welded in place as you can see. And then mine isn't. So what I did is I measured from here to the other side of the trailer and cut a piece. Went to a local metal shop to get the, the metal. Then, um, I took and I jacked up the middle to get it all the way uh, straight across, clamp the pieces together, and uh, in order to get my bolts in place here, I had to take the tank, the tank is bolted in the front here on this front, on this bracket that's in the back of the trailer, I bolted that, slid it out of place slid the whole tank back and the tank was moved back so I can get my bolts in then I drilled holes and I put these 5 16 uh, carriage bolts in here as you can see there's plenty of room for it I wanted to use the carriage bolt so that it wouldn't wear the tank out and it's a lot smoother surface surface the carriage bolt looks like this here and then um, just bolted it in place and then uh, took my jack out and then it stayed uh, level here so relatively easy to do um, now let's go to my other brace as you can see I've got, got it bolted in place here with uh, two uh, quarter inch bolts grade eights with a lock nut on them i like to use lock nuts um, so they won't vibrate loose this steel is a eighth inch by one and a quarter angle iron uh, they're 30 inches long i went to the local place steel place and had them cut for me um, and you can cut them pretty easily with a hacksaw or a jigsaw on this end is relatively simple they're notched out so that they slide right in over the other angle iron in place so I'll show you closer here what I did so on the other end down down there I just cut this here and cut this piece out and then this here just slid 
up under here. And then what I did, slid right in place. And to keep it in place, I just put two bolts here. And there's nothing holding it down there, but they don't move at all. So they're pr plenty strong. They're, they're uh, stronger in, uh, than the ones that came here. They just move around. So I like that idea better. So relatively easy. Um, I think that pretty much anybody could do this in a short period of time. This didn't take me long at all. Probably uh, all the work, probably an hour and a half, two hours. And uh, now I don't have to worry so much about the tank bowing or falling out. So happy camping everybody and I hope you give it a shot in your trailer or at least crawl under your trailer to check it out and make sure nothing is uh, blowing under there or you have loose wires or anything like that uh, so if you like this video feel free to make comments uh, hit the like or dislike button and um, just to let you know I read all my comments and I respond to people um, if you want to see future videos you can just hit the uh, subscribe and the bell and you'll be getting uh, all my new videos that come up. I probably have around 35 videos out there. So if you click on my name below, you'll see them. It'll take you to my other videos. So take care everybody and happy camping.